is usually something on the game or something that's not real because because uh, um, sometimes I think maybe I can dig underground while I'm gonna press them. Come on. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about other YouTubers now because I'm gonna look pretty boring. So basically right now what I'm watching is um, the hundred baby challenge with Oh my gosh. I'm going to forget. I am terrible. With um legit Kwai. Um she is a really good channel for the Sims and she's could I say bubbly? I don't know really what that word means in the first place, but bubbly sounds like a person who's very talkative in a good way and sociable. She might not think herself that way. That's kind of what I've been getting, but for someone like me, she is very nice and talkative. And she really explains things. She goes with the storyline sometimes for her sims, and she makes them um real to you it's more than just a game about micromanaging people with a language you definitely don't understand and probably isn't real just nonsense to it kind of makes sense and she she really cares about the sims and it's not creepy whatsoever um some people might think so but her channel is brilliant you should really check it out and right now i'm at the point I just started a channel a month ago and I'm really starting to put it up and right now I'm talking to no one I say you guys and right now I'm at the point where there is no one but I'm thinking of the future and hopefully I'll have success subscribers that are watching this or just viewers and they listen and they watch your channel and She's really good. And her accent is amazing. Also, um, one thing I do want to note my accent could sound British. For me, something's weird with me because I'm actually American. I was born in America to American parents. Ancestors, what is that? Ancestors born in Europe ages ago, like generations. My great grandparents. That's Europe. Anyways, but somehow I have adapted a British English accent ish type of thing. So it might switch between the British and the American and the usual slip of nonsense like maybe a ver like a vowel is scottish i have no idea i do have british descent but it has nothing to do with genetics i think i just watch so many different british type of shows like on youtube on actual television movies and the british culture it's around everywhere in america um, and so their accents are exposed to everyone here so it's, I mean it I think there's like an actual thing where if you're around a person with a particular accent it like grows on you or something I don't know but I just love the British culture and I eventually want to visit England or maybe even live there because Honestly, it's brilliant, and the school system isn't that great that I heard because I, I've, I've watched videos of people who've done British education, and they do vlogs and stuff, and they said it wasn't that good, and that American is better, and I feel like ours is pretty crappy right now, so I do not want to imagine what the British is like if they're calling it crappy, but maybe it's different from my area because my area is certainly different from all the other ones in America 
we actually have it's pretty paperless we don't we use papers regularly but it's not we don't use textbooks a whole bunch like we used to in like middle school or elementary school it's just computers that they bought for the whole sys the whole school system and and they go on this whole pap paperless initiative technology is the future kind of crap and it's really killing the students because everyone hate it hates it um, they put all this stuff on it like blockers and sometimes they get so swifty with blocking they block the educational sites that were registered on that we have to do homework on so like math excel etc and it's really frustrating at times and it's could be the reason why i don't do that well i mean it really is up to me and i could really do better but as I, I think if i'm a book person so if we had books um, I think that would be so much better than just computers because computers is virtual. It, it's not really real. It's not physical type of stuff. So, where am I up here? I lost my chain of thought. What was I going to do? I have no idea. But anyways. I need to cook and so anyways our school system what? Anyways, our school system isn't the best but it's better than some they've been awarded a lot of awards like blue ribbon but I really never heard of it before but apparently it's prestigious in the whole nine yards Honestly, it's frustrating sometimes. It's good and bad. Um, the really the bad parts about it is that it doesn't want to work sometimes, and by sometimes I mean almost every day. Um, so. I don't know what to say really about it because there's nothing I can do students don't get much of a voice they say oh we value your opinion but nothing ever really changes so I have no idea and right now I'm just reading <gasps> torches that is exactly what I'm going to do That is so creepy what I'm hearing right now. Do you hear those things too? Those monsters in this game just crawling about like a basilisk. Scary. Not scary but creepy. Nothing I would have expected from Harry Potter when I read the books or watched the movies. Maybe she collaborated with Stephen King on that one because it was really weird. That was a long time ago. So, anyways, oh yeah, um, I I seem very quiet right now, but I really am the loudest in my class. The loudest. This is going by so fast. All I am is talking about myself. I am not. I don't feel like an egotistical person. I, mean, I don't want to be talking about myself, but can't really talk about you because this is very unilateral right now. And that is a word I learned in English. Thank you, teachers. Um. Oh, English. You know, I actually, I apologize to my English teacher because. I was a terrible student, but not like the terrible student you're thinking of, because I hold myself to a different standard than what most people think. Um, 
my standard being when I was in your class I always answered the question and did stuff in class but when it came to homework and essays and sentences I never did them whatsoever I just hated it and I just didn't do it so on the last day of school and I take my exam for history well actually I would I exempted from my history exam but I wanted to be there because I love history and the teacher is brilliant but anyways I was there and I was like okay I might as well that was 34 I did not believe it 34 cool but anyways um, I was there so I was like okay history teacher I'm going to apologize to something. Oh snap! I just said her name. Do not remember that. Apologize to my English teacher. And he was like, you, "She would really appreciate that." And I was like, "Okay, I'll just do it." You know, I was kind of scared. Not really s scared, but I was. I respect Miss Lane, so I'll, oh my gosh, I just said it again. What is wrong with me? I really respect my teachers, especially my English teacher because I love writing in English and stories and all of that goodness. Especially since we did we did a Star Wars. I am really going off topic. We did a Star Wars unit and we watched the movies, but do not believe for a second it was easy because it went really in depth and we had 10 billion packets of worksheets. And it's not those, oh, fill in the blanks, Luke Skywalker is blank blank, Luke Skywalker lives on blank planet. It wasn't like that, it was in depth symbolism and meaning meanings called archetypes and i loved it but ev and everyone else loved it too and i liked how the english teachers do that they bring all the clicks together kind of like the geek with the popular and all that of high school and they bring it together and no one can hate star wars or not dislike it i mean well dislike it i mean not truly not if you're really um, just wa really watching it and giving it a chance. Um, Star Wars is brilliant. I don't really know anyone who doesn't like it, but I think some like of the popular people don't give it a chance because it's notioned as the geek thing. Don't watch it, or you will be uncool or geeky, and and I think that's not good. Um, people of our generation are being pushed away from amazing things like Star Wars and its story and all of its wisdom because we don't want to get bullied and picked on we just want to fit in and honestly I get why some people do it and I have no quarrel with them it's just I just find it ridiculous sometimes how things work in high school, like everyone else. I don't know why it's like that, I don't know who invented it that way, and who made it that way, and how everyone else is decided to keep it that way. So it's just one of those confusing things to me, I mean, it's not necessarily confusing because I get why it's the same people want to keep traditions and the people who are in those same type of high schools become the principals and the teachers so nothing really changes on how it's enforced because they're going from their previous example and just goes on and on and you know, you know I kind of get it but I just wished it wasn't like that and now I sound like everyone else who's in high school um, but I'm, I'm serious, it really doesn't have to be that way if people didn't want it to be that way, and if people want it to be this way, I don't know why people would, but that's just how it is, and I don't like that answer sometimes, especially in history, and I will talk about history a lot, and not necessarily facts, but how I love it, um, I have no idea why I love history. Well, 
I guess I have an idea of it, but I really don't.